Hello, I'm D.R.C. Ramming, President of the Bahamas Judo Federation. The Bahamas Judo Federation is trying to develop a world-class program. This is not easy given our limited resources and our small population of less than 330,000 people. However, we're determined to do it. I believe that if we are to achieve success in judo on a worldwide level, we need to tailor judo to our culture, just as Dr. Kano tailored judo to the Japanese culture. The elite program often leads in technology that trickles down to the recreational program and to the regular players. We have decided, given these economic times, to focus very much on the quality of our program by increasing our wins internationally. This is a continuation of our video journal in our quest to put an athlete on the podium at the Olympic Games. Well, we just finished up a intensive elite athlete training camp in preparation for the World Cadet Championships. This is the beginning phase. After some phone consultations, um, Dr. Raddy Ferguson uh, agreed to come down to the Bahamas and help us get the right base, the right start. But one of our goals is to show the world that it is possible to have a judo program. That it is possible to have a judo program that is excellent and of a very high level. And it is possible to inspire other countries to do it. But in order to do it, it has to be approached scientifically. It has to be approached not on the basis of the natural talents of the athletes, but on the basis of the God-given talents combined with the God-given intelligence, combined with the hard work, combined with correct technology. I must say that um, as a Federation President, I am extremely pleased with the way that Dr. Ferguson conducted himself here in the Bahamas. Um, yeah! That right there is a pot of chicken sauce. He has a very holistic approach. I saw him change the uh, eating habits of many of the children. And they had to change, because if they didn't change, they would not have survived the training. And he sat down with them initially, and what he did was he got their buy-in. So they didn't feel like they weren't part of this process. And when they had a problem, either technically or emotionally, what he did was he backed it out, and he explained to them what was going on from a mind, body, emotional state perspective, why their body was hurting because they hadn't eaten properly the night before. Things like this we don't get in, a, in, in, in most parts of our society, this whole holistic thing, this whole holistic approach, and Dr. Raddy provided that for us. I will not speak to you again until 5.39 when it is time to do the close guard drills, the chokes. Sweeps and the passes. Two minute, the, the chokes are still on the sweeps and the mounts. Okay? Until then, you all should be self sufficient. If you have a question, do not direct a question to me. My job here is done. You direct a question to DRC Rodney and he will help you. It has been a pleasure. I have one more session to teach with you. Mom, um, this is a very small program. As some of you may know, we're, we're, our goal is to field a 2012, maybe a 2016 Olympian. And uh, it seems like an unrealistic goal that a country that small can, as small as us, when we have 300,000 people, can do this. So we have to think outside of the box. We can't be uh, like the bigger guys.
Now, what Dr. Raddy did for us, very simply, was give us the science behind this. At the end of this, we did an all-nighter where he put together a schedule that these elite athletes will be following. But this was after evaluating each person almost on an individual basis. Um, this was after watching the general population and, and seeing how these techniques would infiltrate so we could use them as training partners for the elite. And this was after looking at uh, the psychological profile of each individual and, and, and pushing them to their limits to test and see what their limits were. say thank you again to Dr. Ferguson who was put us in the right direction. I understand very well that if we don't implement things that he um, has uh, given us that, uh, that we won't be going anywhere. Uh, we have to implement. Uh, I know we're taking the right step. I want to thank my sponsors who uh, make these type of things possible and I would like to say that uh, without sponsorship a program like this is impossible